Hey everybody, uh, this is uh, the second part of 2.5 and this is creating compound inequalities from graphs. Okay, let's get started here. So write a compound inequality shown by each graph. Alright, this lesson goes fast, you guys. Okay, so um, in the last lesson uh, I told you uh, what typical kind of graph this is. Is it an AND statement or an OR statement? Typically when it goes in opposite directions this is an OR statement. So um, this one's going to be included, so it's going to have an equals bar, and you say this side first, x is less than negative 1, or, and you've got to say the word or, x is greater than or equal to uh, 7. This one, did I say x is less than or equal to? So x is less than or equal to. Okay, easy, right? All right, what about this one? This is a AND statement. So if it's shaded in between two numbers, this is an AND statement. And typically, AND statements are, you start with this number, so 0, and then we're going to have less than or equal to, because the it's closed right there, less than or equal to x, and then this is going to be less than 6, okay? It always goes in this direction. The inequalities always point that way. And your variable is always in the middle when you get a graph shaded like this. When you get a graph shaded like this, what's in the middle is or. You say this side first, which is this. You say this side second over here. If it's uh, in the middle, then you put x in the middle, and your inequalities always point to the left. Okay, closed right there because of that right there. Open because there is no equals bar. Okay, it's pretty much that's easy right there. That easy on this. Okay, so this one's going to be um, just less than so that we start with this number negative eight less than x less than negative three. Okay, negative eight is less than negative three, so that's the number that goes on the left right there. Okay. You guys good with that? This is a fast lesson, you guys. Here's another OR statement. Okay, so this one's going to be X is, remember we go this way, less than to the left. So X is less than negative 4. Then you say the word OR, or X is, this is going to be greater than or equal to 2. Okay? All right, I told you this was easy. All right, so typically, you guys, typically OR statements look like this. They shade in opposite directions, and they have algebra answers with the word OR in between them. You always say this side first, X is less than uh, whatever this number is, or X is greater than whatever this number is, okay? AND statements are typically look like this, shaded in between. There are exceptions, but I didn't see any in this section, so I don't want to spend time on them. Okay, but AND statements typically look like this, and you have these two numbers right here, and your arrows always point to the left right here. You have this number on the left with your X in the middle, and you have this number on the right, okay? And there's an inequality in between the two. doesn't matter if you have closed circles, so they could be closed circles right there. Just make sure you have the equals bar on these, okay? Same thing right there, and they don't have to be both open or both closed. One could be open, one could be closed. Just make sure that you have no equals bar on the open circle right here, no equals bar on the open circle. So anyways, I just copied and pasted that. So and closed them and opened them anyways. So write a compound inequality that represents the indicated quality control levels and then graph the solutions. Okay, this is pretty easy, you guys. These are pretty much all AND statements. So the recommended pH level for swimming pool water is between 7.2 and 7.6 inclusive. Okay, inclusive means, you guys, we're, that we are including those numbers. So when you're including those numbers, there's going to be an equals bar underneath the inequality, okay? And you're going to have closed circles on these. So let P be the pH level. And between means it's going to be an AND statement. So here's uh, here it is right here. So our P is going to be between 7.2 and 7.6. Notice the inequality is pointing towards the left. And we have the equals bar because the word inclusive right there. And so there it is right there, 7.2, 7.6, and shaded in between the two right there. Okay, I couldn't fit those 7.1s right there. They just got all crammed together. So I had to, every other one, drop that down. But you get the picture, okay? Here's another one here, you guys. The recommended free chlorine level for swimming pool water is between uh, 1.0 and 3.0 parts per million, inclusively. So that means we're going to have closed circles, including them. There's our answer right there, okay? Easy enough. I told you this was easy. All right, if you're in my class, I would assign that for your homework. Take care, you guys.